Hi, welcome to Fit and Free with me. I'm Angel. You can call me Auntie Angel. I'm going to do my sun salutations part of the day after just a little bit of stretching out the hips here. I've been uh, day, it's day 11 of my latest 100 day fitness challenge and I'm feeling pretty good. I'm, uh, you know, not... Not perfect as usual, but pretty good, which I'm happy to say. I'm going to scoot this over a little bit in the hopes that I don't run into the top as much. And I think you'll be able to see me as I step back. I'm going to take just a breath <sighs> to root myself into the earth through the bottoms of my feet. And I'm going to be going through two, two sequences of sun salutation on each side. So it's going to look like four rounds two rounds stepping back with the left foot first I'm gonna be talking you through it and also trying to remember to breathe and smile myself pulling this back hip forward forward head back tucking the tailbone under really looking for a strong stance there and I'm gonna shift that back heel onto the perpendicular line opening the hips gazing out past both fingertips, widening that stance a little bit, bending from the hip here into a side twisting triangle, using my elbow and knee against each other for torque and support, gazing up past those left fingertips, and then bringing this hand around the back to reach for this opposite thigh, getting deeper into that side triangle. And I'm gonna unwind that. I like to watch that finger come around and then put my hands on my, I mean my weight on my hands, pressing back through the palms, through the spine, tipping the tailbone toward the back of the head and pressing into those heels. I'm gonna tread those heels first the left and then the right, bend in the right knee, pressing into the left, bend in the left knee, pressing into the right. And again, pressing into the left, pressing into the right, pressing into both heels, tipping that tailbone. Looking for a long line through the fingers, through the arms, through the spine, through the backs of the legs. And then I'm gonna step up with that left foot in between the hands and do a nice deep lunge. I like to add a little bounce to that lunge. And I'm gonna step up with the back foot, back into that forward fold, coming into a counter stretch. Exhaling as I come back into that forward fold, bending from the hips, and then stepping back with the right foot, coming into that warrior pose on the other side. Again, pulling the back hip forward, forward hip back, trying to tuck the tailbone under, looking for a strong stance, pressing into that back heel. And then shifting that back heel onto the perpendicular line, opening the hips. And then bending from the hip to the left, pressing that left arm and leg against each other for torque and support, lifting the right, gazing past those fingertips, and then pulling that arm around the backside to reach for that opposite thigh, sinking into a nice deep lunge there on the side. And unwinding all of that, bringing that hand forward and bringing the back, front leg back to meet the back leg, pressing through the palms, again tipping the tailbone toward the back of the head, pressing into those heels. I'm going to lift the left leg, leaving that hip closed, just pressing through the right foot. For a nice long line through the body and then on the other side pressing through the left foot again keeping that hip closed not try not to open it toward the ceiling keeping it pointing toward the floor and again on the left lifting the left leg pressing through the palms and again on the right And one more time on the left, pressing through that leg, through the palms, out the toes. And one more time on the right, 
nice big press out the toes pressing into that left heel out the toes of the right leg and then into both heels oh i forgot to do my chaturanga i just realized but we'll keep it even bringing that right foot forward in between the hands into a deep lunge and then stepping forward that was one short round i forgot to do the whole front side of the body that's all right we'll do it on the next round coming up into the counter stretch nice and slow I come back to center as i'm experiencing a little bit of a head rush and let that dissipate i'm going to roll down nice and slow this time through the spine just checking in noticing where there's hitches and where there's suppleness there are some hitches in there i think i hurt myself yesterday i was feeling so healed and then i went and did some shoveling which i love but whew, anyway feeling that it's good to just notice give my body a little love i like to bounce sometimes like in this position on my with my chest on my thighs that kind of loosens up the spine if i notice there's some tension in there and I'm going to roll back up nice and slow again just still checking in with that spine and then again stepping back with this left foot into a nice deep lunge still pulling that back hip forward forward hip back feet on parallel lines pressing into that back heel Try not to crunch up in the shoulders as I lift the arms. And then I'm gonna shift the heel to the opposite direction. So I'm closing the hips, looking for a side twist, gazing out past the back fingertips and around past the front fingertips, sliding that back foot out on the toes as I bring the left shoulder in toward the right knee and left in the right arm. Now in a side twisting triangle. I'm bringing that hand around again to reach for the hip, the opposite direction, gazing out past that back heel. And then unwinding all of that, bringing weight onto the hands and bringing that front foot back to meet the back foot, pressing into the heels, tipping the tailbone. I'm gonna bring the body forward into a cobra position. Try not to sink in those shoulders, relaxing the toes. I'm gonna have the camera angled a little bit wonky today. It is what it is. Trying to relax through the belly. Uh, add some face and tongue stretch. And then tucking the toes under, lifting those hips again. Pushing back into the hips, tucking the tailbone through the back of the head and swinging that left foot forward in between the hands for a nice deep lunge. This time I'm gonna straighten that front leg, doing a forward fold over that leg and then slide that front heel out with both hands on either side of me, supporting that for a splits position. Hmm, just getting into that little bit of stretching the front leg and then trying to pull this heel back without <laughs> rolling my mat, which doesn't always work and stepping back forward into that forward fold. Come again into a counter stretch. And again, let's roll down nice and slow, checking in with the spine. Ooh, noticing where there's hitches, where there's suppleness. Mm, giving that a breath or two to relax at the bottom. And then rolling up from the pelvis, slowly up the spine, one vertebrae at a time, lifting the arms again and stepping back with the right foot this time, again into a nice stable warrior pose, pressing into that back hip, or I mean heel, pulling the hips onto the perpendicular line by pulling this forward hip back, back hip forward, tucking the pelvis under a little bit. And then I'm going to again, twist to the outside, giving a counter stretch, closing the hips, pulling that back hip forward even more, gazing out past those back fingertips 
and out toward the front fingertips and then sliding out on those back toes, bringing my right shoulder to my left knee and lifting those left fingertips. Gazing past those and then bringing this hand around the back side to reach for that opposite hip. Gazing past that long leg, giving everything a nice ringing out. So I'm going to unwind all that and bring that front foot back to meet the back foot. Pressing into those heels. I'm going to lift that left leg again and this time open the hip. Letting the foot fall toward the right. Looking past my right shoulder to look at that foot. Just try to give it a little ankle rotation because I find that very challenging. And I love a good challenge. Let's do the other side. Lifting the right with the hip closed and then opening the hip. Gazing out past that left shoulder. Look for some ankle circles. <laughs> Awkward as they are. It's all right. And then closing that. I'm pressing into those heels again. I'm going to step forward with that right foot in between the hands for another nice deep lunge. And then straightening that leg. Forward fold over that leg. And then supporting the body with both hands, sliding that front leg out on the heel for a splits position stretch. Just getting a nice stretch through that front leg and through the back leg, really. Kind of, I like to wiggle that around, kind of move that stretch all around the hip socket. Feels good to me. And then sliding that back or that front heel back and lifting the back foot to the front, kind of back into that forward fold. Ah, give it a nice sigh, and then I'm going to roll back up. Hmm, there you have it. That's two rounds of sun salutation. Come down here so I can see you. Uh, that was a lot uh, more talking than I would do if I wasn't talking to you, but uh, let me know if it helped or let me know if you have any questions. I'm here both to keep myself accountable and stay more fit and free, and also hopefully to encourage you to love yourself a little bit more, get a little bit more fit and free. I think we are underutilizing our potential. So I'd like to do what I can to change that, change the world for the better if I can. Give me a thumbs up if you agree and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description below if you want to find ways of supporting me. I got books on Amazon and an Etsy store. Good stuff like that. I'll be seeing you. Stay free.